Hello, it's Stephen Ball here at Delphia Ball, and we're going to look quickly at the new T buffered file stream and how it differs from T file stream. Now, T file stream is the base class that T buffered file stream descends from. So, using T buffered file stream, you are using a T file stream uh, base, um, but T buffered file stream brings in some uh, much faster reading um, by basically doing the buffering for you. Um, and eliminating some of the code bottlenecks that you can introduce if you're doing bit by bit reading using a T file stream. So let's have a quick look at that. So here we have uh, a sample that is going to create uh, 100,000 records quickly into a text file. And then we're going to use two different methods to read in. Uh, first one is just going to use T file stream. And we're using a stopwatch here, which uh, comes from system.diagnostics. If you've not used that before, it's a really um, accurate rate to time how long it's taking to do something. Um, really, really good for performance analysts. And here we're going to read the text file in. We're just going to check uh, if we find character 13 as the, uh, the character that's just been read in. And if it is, that indicates there's been an end of line or code return within there. Uh, and then we're going to just increment total and at the end just output what that total is. Now, using exactly the same code, just copied and pasted in, uh, we've replaced the T file stream, and if we just uh, collapse this up, we can see here. Um, here we had a T file stream. Now we've got a T buffered file stream, and literally we've got the same code running. Um, the only difference is using a buffered file stream. So uh, let's go and create our file. Now reading that in on the local disk here, um, 100,000. Lines have been read in uh, in 1.5 seconds, and that's using the the file stream. Using the buffered read, we can see this is way quicker. You know, 12 milliseconds. Uh, if we go back and use the traditional one again, you can still see that it's taking the uh, same amount of time as before to to pass through. So using a buffered file stream, you can really improve the performance of your code. Uh, and also help protect yourselves from uh, potential issues that you may introduce. 